Hey everybody, this is Gary Warner with the Warner Exotics and I'm just going to show off some geckos today. Um, I've been posting some clouded stuff lately. I just posted a clouded that hatched today and we will be looking at her. I'll be pulling her out um, and showing you right out of the bin. Um, or should I say incubation chamber. This animal here was not used for the clouded line this year. But this is one of the males that um, started producing the dark stuff. Um, and gave that clouded look. This here is a Max No Eclipse male. Um, it is also 100% het tremper, which the tremper stuff and the eclipse stuff I really don't want in there, but it might be playing a role. I'm not totally sure. We are working on getting it out. But as you look, it's not much to it. Um, he's got really nice uh, striping with the dots. Um, but when you look at this animal, he's just kind of a Darker animal, but you kind of expect that with a Max Snow. Um, see if we can get in his eyes. He's not gonna. He's like, nope. Camera's coming. But this guy did um, breed five females this year. I just pulled him out of his last breeding, and he is done for the year. So let's go ahead and look at a baby that just hatched. Hey everybody, here is the baby that just hatched. Let my camera get the lighting. This is an albino. It's a raptor. And as you see, it's got, it just has a clouded over look. Um, that's the best I can explain it. It's got a clouded over look to it. Um, and as they age, they either get darker or they look normal. And what I found out is if I breed the ones that light up, they still produce dark babies and them dark babies can stay dark um, it's a polygenetic trait it's nothing more than that um, it is just a very very cool animal um, something I caught when I started breeding a certain group and um, I'm gonna stick with it uh, we are doing some other breeding I want to get the tremper out of it but as we know it's gonna take some time um, it just gives a mustard color when this girl gets older. I guarantee it's going to have a mustard color to it. Um, I'll see if I have, uh, I know I have a raptor over there in the for sale bins that it came from the line, but it's not the best of the best um, looking clouded. Um, but it might not be going anywhere because I've, I think I've only released two clouded from the project since I've started this. And one person knows it's a special project and the other person didn't care they just wanted that raptor but this is a pretty cool animal now here is a baby from last year it's grown now of course but as you see it is darker than normal this is a 100% it is a, uh, I'm sorry, not 100% head eclipse. It is an eclipse. This is a 66% het um, tremper albino. And what's weird about this is when this hatched, I thought it was a super snow. You guys know that super snow look. Um, I'll see if I can find the picture and I'll put it up in the corner of what he looked like when he was a baby. And um, he hatched with an albino. Um... But this is just, uh, he has a darker look to him. Um, it's hard to explain the look. Um, they do have the spots on the head, the middle of the head also. And like I said, this could be nothing. It could be something. Um, but it is a polygenetic trait that I'm breeding for. And it does wacky things with the albino trait. Um, it just does. And I'm going to show you guys some darker animals. I will show you guys some darker animals here in a bit. But this animal here, I'm hoping doesn't carry the albino gene. Um, I have a few of these. Some darker, some not. We'll get into some darker stuff. But as you guys can see, it is a darker animal. And I'm not going after that Black Knight look. I'm not going after the charcoal look. I'm going after a clouded look, like a clouded over look. Um... And because when you mix it in with other things, it really pops. This here is a, should I say, it's a 2019 Clouded Raptor. I'm hoping that the Raptor we got gives it a different look. 
Um, I hope I get a deep brown mustard color. But as you see, this animal here has more of a mustard color. Um, and the orange, where it would be orange, is kind of browned out. And I know people are saying, well, why would you want that? Um, it's just something different. It, that's what, how, I don't know how else to explain it. It's, it's cool in person. Um, and it just looks different. This is an albino. It's a raptor. Um, this is a female. Um, I didn't breed her this year. Um, she's not even close to being of size for me. Um, she was a late 2019. I want to say she might be a December baby. But as you see, that orange is just kind of muted out. And yes, I like my striping. I work on a lot of striping, so. It's just a different looking raptor. I like the look. All right, we're gonna show off some darker animals from the project. This one here is not an eclipse, but it is a het eclipse. Um, and it's a possible het tremper. Uh, I'm trying to get the eclipse gene out and I'm trying to get the tremper gene out. Uh, this animal's not for sale. But as you see, it has that clouded look. The orange in it is, the best way I can explain it is it's a dark mustard color. And this guy's not the calmest guy in the world. There we go. It's just got a different look to it. And when you see these geckos, it if I take them to shows to show people, when they see them, they're like, that's just different looking. Um, I don't produce it out of anything else that I, I breed. I get them from a specific group. Um, it is not a, an incomplete dominant at all. Because when I breed, I, I how can I explain it? When I gone three gens, um, when I breed out to like like say t I took this to an animal to a non clouded line animal, I would basically look like I'm going back a generation. It won't be as distinctive. Um, and now this year I'm getting that darker look, but the patterns there. I'm not losing that pattern, and that's what I'm saying. And the blacks. As you see, the black dots in these are just more intense, and it's just, I, I don't know how to explain it other than showing you guys, and the camera doesn't know justice, and I'm filming with a very good camera. Um, the lighting down here kind of sucks, but I do have my lighting up, uh, my little shop lights, not shop lights, but uh, um, photography lights. They're little lights on tripods. Um, as you see, the paper is white, so you can see that. It's just an insane look. The yellow is a different yellow. It's like a like a brown mustard. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, this one here has plans. I'll be going into um, a raptor for sure. Probably going to breed it to a um, uh, like maybe a, a clouded raptor so I get more. But I want to see if um, he is het albino because he's just a pos head. He's a 66%. Um, possible het. Uh, so if he turns out, turns out not to be het albino, then I can work on trying to get the eclipse out of him because he is 100% het eclipse. I want to try to get no hets and get a line of no hets with these and work with the wild type and get the wild type looking the way I want um, before uh, I release them too much. So. But this one, this one here is a pretty cool animal. Now, a buddy of mine, Dylan, um, wanted to know if I got differences in clutches. Now, this one I just showed the male, uh, the male um, with the darker spots on the back. This is its sibling. This one also is going to go into a project. But as you see, the orange is peeking through more on this animal, and the carrot, ta carrot tailing, if you can call it that. Is a little more intense on this but the orange is peeking through so it's not as dark as i would like um so in clutches i'm getting like one animal like this and then another animal it's like wow but you can still see the black 
it dots, he's not gonna stay still, are more intense and more dark on the these animals. These guys, these guys just don't like sitting still for me. There we go. So now you can see that orange hue is coming in more on this one. And we kind of want that mustard color. So it's a work in progress. Okay, guys, here is an animal I thought about putting into the clouded line. Um, I haven't made a decision yet. It is not from the clouded line. Um, it is a bold. And um, it was bred to this year, bred to a blood. Um, I was, you know, I'm going to try to make some blood bolts. Uh, it's supposed to be het nothing, but we'll find out. But the spots make it a good candidate for what I'm doing. It's it's darker than normal, um, a normal leopard gecko that we see today. Um, she has also given me three clutches of eggs. She's a friendly girl. Th this girl usually she doesn't like being under the light. But she, this girl here always comes up. She'll eat out of my hand if I let her. She, she's just a really laid back gecko. So I'm not totally sure. We might use her. We might not for the clouded line. I'm not totally sure. We'll see how her babies look going from the blood. If they look better with the blood stuff, she might stay with the blood. I'm not totally sure.